Hi guys, welcome to the channel Excel Plays. Before we start, this is my first video on YouTube guys. So please give this video a big thumbs up if you like this video. And also don't forget to subscribe my channel if you guys want more videos like this and want to do some DIYs on embedded systems and IoT based projects. Now coming back to our main question, how Bluetooth actually works. So Bluetooth is a very common feature now. You can find Bluetooth in various technologies such as in variables, laptops and our smartphones. But only a few ones know how that technology works. So Bluetooth is a wireless communication technology for a short range of communication with a very less power consumption. It works in the ISM radio frequency band of frequencies ranging from 2400 to 2483.5 MHz for communicating with other devices. Using Bluetooth, the total of 8 devices can be connected which forms a small area of network called a PicoNet. At the time of a PicoNet establishment, out of 8, one act as the master and the remaining ones act as the slaves. A device which initiates the communication link is the master and the other participants in that PicoNet are the slaves. But you guys might be thinking how the data is transferred using Bluetooth. So here comes the method named FHSS method, stands for Frequency Hopping Spread Spectrum method, which is a radio technology used in Bluetooth. So what happened is that the ISM band which ranges from 2400 to 2483.5 MHz is divided into 79 Bluetooth channels as you can see in the vertical axis with each channel having a bandwidth of 1 MHz. So what happens when we send any type of data from one device to other device, the data which you are sending first divides into the most fundamental unit of data called packets. After that, each packet is transmitted at one of the 79 Bluetooth channels after every 625 microseconds. And this 625 microseconds time is known as the hop time. So as you can see, at T1, the data is transferred from F2 channel, at T2, the data is transferred from F5 channel, and so on. This jumping of data from one channel to the other is known as the hopping, and this forms the pattern of F2, F5, F3, F6, F1, F6, F4. So this is the pattern of data transmitting or receiving which is only known to the sender and the receiver. Different senders use different hopping pattern at different time. Due to such patterns, communication using Bluetooth gets more secured as the pattern of receiving and transmitting data is only known to the sender and the receiver. And also there will be less interference with the external signals because of the data transmission takes place at different frequencies channel at different time due to which there will not be any disturbance in the signals while communicating. And this is how Bluetooth actually works. So thank you guys and don't forget to like this video if you learned something new today and stay tuned for more videos like this as I have told you before. So bye bye now.